Hi guys, in this video I'll be explaining about the columnar database in general and comparing it with a regular database with row based uh, storage. We will also look at a couple of uh, use cases, performance and understand when to use columnar database versus a regular row based database. So let's get started. I have an example here. I have a sales fact along with a couple of dimensions. So in a typical uh, row based storage format, uh, the entire record is saved in each blocks. And also it depends on uh, the block size. Uh, just for this example sake, let's assume that um, one record is equal to you know one block size. Let's say it's like 32 KB or 64 or whatever it is, right? Um, so typically if you have five records, it will consume you know five blocks of uh, you know space. In a columnar format, uh, each column value is um, uh, saved in each of the blocks, right? So, so you will, if you have like four different columns, it will occupy four uh, blocks. Again, it's an assumption that um, you know size block and uh, the setup data what you have, you know, makes up to one single block, right? So, typically. Um, <clears throat> When you do some aggregation, let's say you want to find out uh, what's the sales total sales amount. So in a row based uh, storage format, uh, you would actually scan five blocks to arrive at the sum of uh, sales amount. Whereas in columnar storage format, it will just scan only one single block and it will give you the results of uh, the aggregation. Right, so that's the you know huge difference. So row storage uh, does a lot of uh, scanning uh, of the each of the data blocks. So the IO operation is you know higher in case of storage and uh, row storage, and it's actually minimal in columnar uh, storage format. So typically, row storage format uh, is uh, primarily used in uh, OLTP systems, wherein um, you may want to uh, you know, completely uh, read one single record. Let's say if you are, you know, booking for a, you know, flight, you want to know the name and uh, location, starting point, ending point, and everything. Each and every detail you want to show it on the screen, right? So in those uh, typical OLTP use cases, row storage uh, format, you know, performs better uh, because uh, at a time you will be looking at only one customer or you know one particular transaction on the screen. So that makes, um, you know, more sense with the row-based uh, storage. But in case of columnar, uh, it is more suitable for analytical, um, you know, processings. So such as if you have a data warehouse or any decision making system. So in those areas, you will be, um, you know, uh, columnar uh, storage, you know, makes sense. And uh, since uh, it has a columnar storage, the data retrieval and aggregation or, you know, any group by activities would be much faster when compared to uh, row storage. Because when you perform any analytical reporting, you, you're not trying to display entire record set, right? All you wanted to know is uh, the sum of sales amount, you know, average of sales amount per re region ID. So in those use cases, uh, columnar storage uh, performs much better, and uh, that's the you know primary um, you know use case for columnar, and Redshift is one of such uh, you know, columnar storage.